This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. We've seen how you can take your chart and change it into a different type of chart. So we can take a line chart and turn it into a bar chart, take a bar chart, turn it into a column chart, take a column chart, turn it into a pie chart. Simply by selecting the chart area, choosing the design tab on the chart tools and change chart type. And then you're free to choose. So we may choose pyramid column. Now, as well as being able to change the chart type, we can change to different layouts for that particular type. And that's all done on the design tab as well. You can see at the top here, we have chart layouts. For each particular chart type, there are a number of layouts. And you'll see there's a little drop down arrow here. This particular chart type has eight layouts. That layout A, B, C, and you can see the slight nuance and difference between the different layouts. D, E, that actually puts the data underneath. F, G, and H. And choosing from the different chart layouts, you'll find that the layout of the data is still the same chart type. So I've chosen pyramids, so I retain the pyramids, but my axis might go a different direction, it might be a different style. For this example here, I get the data at the bottom as well as the graph. So that's by adding the data table. Or in this particular case, I've got room for an access title, both on the X and the Y. All I need to do is then click into that box and change that, in this case, to months. And in that case, that to F Fahrenheit. So that's the chart layout. Now, depending on the chart type you've chosen, you'll have different layouts in here. So if I have to change this into a straightforward column, OK. Layouts in my box actually increase. So I've got a choice of one all the way to 11. And you'll see a slightly different layout on each. That one there rams all the columns together. That one there separates them a little bit more. That one there sticks that value on, you see there on December. That one there has tighter grid lines behind. So there's a slight difference between each of the layouts. Now, as well as being able to change the layout in this section here, we can change the chart styles in this section here. In our example, we might not be happy with the blue bars. Perhaps we'd like red bars. Perhaps we'd like gray bars. Or in the drop down, look how many more choices there are. Not only the different colors, so they run across. But if you like a color and run down, you'll see in this case, you get a little bit more shadow or in a bevel or a black background there. So this is the chart styles. They have a series of colors that run across and then different styles that run down. If I like this style but not the color, I can stay on that row and choose red. Or I can go blue. Or I can go to that end and choose orange. Whatever chart style or chart layout you choose, the data is unaffected. You still have the same numbers feeding the same graph. It just looks different, more colorful, less colorful, plainer perhaps 3D. So we have the option to change the chart type, chart layout, which determines what elements are actually within that chart, and the chart styles. The number of colors are the horizontal choice. Vertically, it's the style layout 3D-ness. I might like that particular style there. So not only can you get a chart, you can make it look really quite good.